welcome back to our channel. I'm Tasleem. And I'm Tira. This is TNT Cooking, a beginner's guide to Indian and Pakistani cuisine. Today we are going to make chole masala. Do you know what that is? I have no idea. It's basically chickpea curry. Oh, sounds good. It's very popular at Indian restaurants and actually it's one of my son's favorite dish. He loves chickpea curry. And it sounds vegetarian. It is. Okay. Okay, and we're going to do it simple and fast. So stay tuned. All right, so our pot is warm, so we're gonna start off with putting in one third of oil. Okay. Okay, so our oil is heated. To that, we're gonna add one teaspoon cumin seeds. Okay. And then we're gonna add some whole garam masalas. I have three red dry chilies, a couple of bay leaf, a small stick of cinnamon, and about four to five peppercorn. Okay. Now we are gonna add the masalas. So here it is, Tira. Beautiful. I have a tablespoon of Kashmiri lal mirch. Remember, this is not spicy. It's just for color, a little bit of flavor. One teaspoon salt, one tablespoon minced garlic, one tablespoon minced ginger, one teaspoon garam masala, one teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon turmeric, and one teaspoon coriander powder. Okay. All that's gonna go in. We're adding the masala first because I just want the masala to fry up a little in the oil for a few seconds before we add the onions. We're not cooking the masala, so please be careful. They burn fast. Literally just like about 30 seconds. While that's going, I have here my onion ready to go. I have one large onion that I ground in the food processing. Okay. See how quickly the masala is returning to burn yeah so you want to have the onion ready by the time you add the masala so it sounds like for this recipe it's really important that you prep your measurements beforehand for some of these things and i can already smell it yes it smells wonderful and look at how evenly it's all coated around there already yeah. do you like chickpeas i do they were one of my older brother's favorite foods yeah but my mom wouldn't do them like this. We'd just have, like, have them from a can or over salads. But I wouldn't eat them for a long time because he called them fish brains. <laughs> so I wouldn't eat them. Okay. Okay, we're going to let that all cook for about five minutes. Okay. All right. And now we will add three fourth cups of crushed tomatoes or tomato puree. Okay. So here, these are the chickpeas. This is uh, two cups of chickpeas. So you can use um, from a can or you can buy raw chickpeas from one of the Indian Pakistani store. Soak it overnight and you have to boil it. So I boiled this, well I cooked it in the Instapot for 10 minutes and they have to be this soft, okay? You have to cook okay. the chickpeas first because they can't be crunchy in this dish. So I just boil, cooked it in the Instapot for 10 minutes with a pinch of salt and a pinch of turmeric. Okay. So here you go. We're gonna add that in. Okay, so to this we're gonna add half a cup of water. This dish is soupy. Okay. It's liquidy. You typically eat it with rice. Okay. Mmm, looks yummy. Oh, it's fun to see the whole spices just pop up. And there's cinnamon stick and a bay leaf. Don't eat those. Yep, pull them out before you eat, but they add some wonderful flavor. Mm -hmm. You wanna okay. know a funny story? Mm hmm. Adam invited a co-worker over for dinner once, and I don't think he's ever had Indian food before. Oh. So we, uh, I made something that had a huge cinnamon stick, and he didn't know what to do with it, so he thought he had to eat it, so he started biting it and chewing on it, because <laughs> he didn't want to be rude. Um, yes. He wanted to eat everything that was on the plate, and the next day he told Adam, yeah, the food was delicious, but the cinnamon stick was hard to eat. <laughs> and Adam was like, um, you're supposed to not eat that. It's just there for flavoring. And he was like, oh, so remember that. I have to admit, I've done that before with the clove. And yeah. I was like, oh, it's in my mouth. I guess I'm eating it. <laughs> Spit it out. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to cover this and let, that, let this cook for about five minutes. Okay. All right, let's give this a stir. Oh, it looks yummy. Mm -hmm. It smells even better. I like the color more of a red with the yes. do the chickpeas look that way because of the turmeric you boiled them with turmeric and the kashmiri lal mirch okay so this is a new spice this is called amchur so this is half a teaspoon amchur 
Tiara, do you know what Amjur is? I have never heard of this or used it. Amjur is a dry green mango powder. So it gives it a sour, acidic taste. Interesting. Yeah. It is used typically in Indian cooking to give it like a nice flavor. I'm curious, really curious as to how it will taste now. Because the last yes. spice you introduced me to has become one of my favorites, the fenugreek. Oh, yes. I really like that one. Should we put the lid back on this? Or? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of fenugreek leaves. All right. And just give it a nice stir. And our chickpeas are almost cooked, so at this point, after that, we can turn off the stove. Okay. And then we're gonna add some cilantro. I have here about half a cup of cilantro. And then we have one more step. We're gonna do a tarka. Okay. That's gonna give this dish an amazing flavor at the end. So for the tarka, we are just gonna add a little bit of oil in this small pan, about two tablespoons. Once the oil is heated, we're just gonna pour that on top. So to this oil, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Okay. I have here half a chopped serrano pepper and some ginger that I sliced this way. It's called julienne cut. Okay. Add that in. About how much ginger? I have about, oh careful, 10, 10 slices. Okay. I'm just gonna mix this. We're just gonna pour this on top. All right. Give it a nice stir. All right. I've never done a turka that way over a curry like this. Turka makes everything delicious, trust me. <laughs> that smells amazing. Do you smell that? Yes, it does. It smells like a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know what's that extra flavor, that smell? It's the amjur. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so our chickpeas are done. Wasn't that fast? That was really fast. So when you come home from work and you have cans of chickpeas and you don't know what to do with it, make this dish. It's a crowd pleaser. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we get to try this. It smells so good. It really does. Mmm. That's good, really right? good. Do you taste the sourness? Yeah, is that what the oh, um, sure. it? the amchur? Um, yeah, is? so it's not sour sour, but you can definitely have, taste the flavor. A little bit of the acid in there. Yes. Yeah. How about the spice level? This one's a little spicier. I can handle this. It's not making my nose run or anything. There are some of those dishes where that happens, but for my husband, we would definitely need to reduce some of the spices. So you can always adjust the spices to the, your taste buds. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Another successful dish from TNT Cooking. We thank you for watching. Please continue to support, like, and tell your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.